Alright everyone, hello and welcome back to Beyond the Border. Now, in the last video, we got introduced to the green robot and teleporters. And these make the puzzles way more tricky. We are here in the final five levels, so I imagine we're going to finish in today's uh, episode, but... Yeah, I just realized I was holding something that's carrot and a stick, that's cool. Anyway, uh, I, I do believe I su I've sussed this out, um, this puzzle, and I think... I had, a, I had a, a puzzle that worked in the last video that I said wouldn't work um, because I got completely lucky and it, and it just worked. But I think I know why it worked. I think the green robot works differently to how I thought. So I thought when... So the green robot is when it goes in, in range of this crystal, um, it starts following orders. And even if it goes out of the range of the crystal, it continues following orders, the code, uh, this thing here. Um, but what I didn't know is... The robot, the green robot starts the code from the beginning, no matter where in the code the crystal comes into contact with the green robot. So that means, I think, I can pick up, uh, pick up this crystal because I control the blue one. Uh, pick up, turn left, and then walk. And at this point, the the green robot is in, in range as well. So, um, he's going to start from the beginning. So he's going to also pick up, there's nothing to pick up, so it's fine. Turn left and walk, so he's going to end there facing... I'm going to say north, um, and my blue one is going to end up facing here, facing north as well. So then we need to get the green one to the teleport, turn left again, and then walk. He teleports to here, facing west, I guess. Um, blue one turns to there. Hopefully he can actually stand there. Yeah, I'm guessing he can. And then we just got to turn around and walk twice, um, so the green one will end there, and the blue one will end there. So, turn around, walk, and walk. Play, this should work. It worked. It just works. It did it. I don't think it did it exactly how I... No, it did do it exactly how I said it. It was just the timing was off a little bit because, yeah. It's fine. It, yeah, okay, so the green one, the green one is very interesting. It starts the code from the beginning. That might make things difficult. Um, but where do I need to get these two now? So, okay, one of them needs to be there. I don't know which one. I guess we'll find out. Actually, pretty easy to do that to get to keep the the blue one there. It's not too difficult. Um, as for the green one, we'll see. We will see. Yeah, it might be a little more difficult. Um, I'm gonna need to use a a repeat function here. I'm sure. I guess we'll find out. So we need to pick up, walk forward. Let's do that. Uh, pick up, walk forward, and then obviously it's in range, so it's going to pick up and walk forward. It's going to be there, facing that way. This one here, facing that way. Now, what I could do is just drop, right? I think that's what I'm supposed to do. I'm really very, very confident that's what I'm supposed to do, actually. So I think I drop, then I can walk again. So he's now there, and this guy is stuck there. He can't walk forward. He's stuck on this block. Um, then I turn right. Then I uh, walk twice, and then I can loop it from the turn right. So he should end up there, and he should end up here, because he turns right twice, he turns around, he walks there, he can't walk any further, should just be done. Should be really easy, straightforward, right? Turn right, yep, walk, turn right, walk, and done. It's pretty simple once you break it down step by step. Just figuring out ex where which robot needs to go where and of course now there's three to deal with and boxes oh man uh, okay okay and the box needs to end up there on that copper block that's a new objective okay okay let's maybe um, this is going to be a lot harder a lot lot harder level 21 a eh? oh man okay so hmm needs to be there, there, and there. So we pick up, turn right, walk. Uh, means this is in range, that's good. We can turn left, walk, walk, that goes in range. Then it will pick up, turn right, walk. Turn left, walk, walk. So that will end there if we do that. Let's just do it and see what happens. So, I think that's probably the best way to do it. Trial and error, maybe. Turn right. Oh, I didn't pick up. Pick up, turn right, walk, 
Uh, turn left. I don't think the, the pink one starts from the... We'll test it. Does it start from the, the beginning? It doesn't. Okay. I don't know why the green one is different then. It's kind of weird. Anyway. So turn left. Facing that way. So walk twice. And then the green one should end up there. Like now, I think. Yes. Now the problem is, um, if I turn around and walk twice, the green one is going to end up there. Um, these two will be in the right place, there and there, but the green one will not. So I need to do something here, and I obviously do need that to go there. So I need to walk twice again, pick up, walk, oh yeah, I need to stop, of course. Walk, walk, uh, pick up. Ah, oh, man, this is going to be tough. Uh, so the green one is going to be there. Those two are going to be there. Then I need to turn around, walk, 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 drop. I don't have enough things for that, so obviously I do need to use a, a loop at some point. Um, I think maybe if I do this, um, it, this might do something good. We'll see. Like, this isn't going to be the answer, I know, but we might get to somewhere with this. Not really. Oh no, it's it's still looping. Okay, they're stacked now, that's interesting. And they're going to keep stacking. Okay. Aha, uh -huh. how do I, how do I do this then? So, walk. Hmm. So, uh, you might, you might have noticed I'm now on level 22. I tested a code and it ended up working. I didn't expect it to still work, so I wasn't recording at the time. Um, basically, I picked up, turned right, walked, uh, turned left, walked four times, drop, pick up, and then looped from the bottom to before walk, I think. Before the four walks, and... It just worked, I think. I, I was just trying to get the, the the blue and the pink robots done, and then I would work with, on the green one from then on, if I could. It just ended up working, the green one just ended up in the gold and, and the diamond block. I don't know. If you play it for yourself and you need hints, you can just play it, press this, by the way, and it gives you a solution. Um, so, hopefully you're not looking at this video for solutions. Uh, yeah, that was... whoops. I'll try not to do that again. Yeah, level 22. Um, so there's two boxes that need to be in specific places, and then we need to get the the robots to completely different blocks. That one there, that one there. That one's going to be a pain. So, oh, look at these crystals, though. I can't pick them up. They're just in very specific places. That's going to be interesting. So... Pick up, turn, I mean, walk, turn left, walk, walk, pick up to get the blue one to there. To get this one to there, it needs to be turn right. Um, walk, 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 pick up. Is the green one in range there? I can't tell. I guess I may as well just try it out. Turn left. Um, nope, I don't know what just happened then. Walk. Uh, two walks, and then... Pick up. See what happens. Yeah, the green one isn't in range. Oh, I pick that thing up. I see. How am I supposed to do this? What? <clears throat> okay, okay. Wow. This seems like a lot. Um so just to just to pick up that thing, I need to walk twice. Turn left, walk twice again, turn right, walk, turn left, and then pick up. And that's just to get the crystal. Uh-huh. <laughs> what? What? Okay, let's let's loop this maybe and then see what happens. 
I, I, I will, will add a drop because it's always good to have a drop and then pick up. Let's just see what happens. Experimenting, right? Yep, it loops now. He goes over there. He's going to come down here, I think. Oh, no. He's going to come down here, turn that way. No, turn that. Oh, okay. Uh huh, uh huh, uh huh. Yeah, okay, yep, yeah, mm hmm. This is interesting. Maybe if I just make like a, a loop in some kind of way, like they walk in a circle, drop and pick something up, it'll just eventually work. Because they're so desynchronized, um, it might just eventually end up working. Not the most optimal way to complete this, but. Yeah, I don't think it's ever going to work, really. Okay, well, that was interesting. Nice little experiment. To be fair, though, once I get the green one in range of the crystal, I can just drop it and leave it somewhere. And I, I, I do need to do that because I need to pick up a box. Oh, this will be a tough one to figure out. I, I think I actually have this figured out now. Um... Maybe, I hope. So, I think getting the green one to also go... Okay, so, the blue one needs to turn left and get a box, right? And then come back down, place it in either there or there. Probably there, if it's that one. The, the green one needs to turn right and get that thing. Which means I can't really loop it unless I do some weird turnaround thing. It just seems like it's way more complex than I have room for. So, I think... I think I need to use the blue one for the boxes and and the crystal, and then if I if I can just get it to move forward and then go up, get the box, come down, place it, and then repeat, you know, it'll go up, down, up, down, up, down. Hopefully, get stuck there because it's never going to turn that way. And then this one can go, you know, because that goes forward and turns left and goes up. This one will go forward, turn left, and up into this. So now I just need to figure out how to do that. So walk, I think. Um, and then obviously loop it, you know. Um, so walk, turn left, walk twice it looks like. Um, pick up, I'll do drop pick up just in case. I don't know. Uh, turn around, walk, walk, drop. Turn around, walk, walk, drop. And then uh, repeat. Turn around, walk, walk, drop. Uh... And then it needs to turn again, right? To face its default direction. Turn left. And then it will walk, turn around, uh, turn left, walk, walk, pick up, turn around, drop, walk, walk, drop, turn left. And then this one, as soon as this crystal lands here, on that basalt, this guy will walk, turn left, walk. Repeat. Done. It seems like it, I'm pretty sure. Okay, yep. And it's just gonna repeat. And the only problem is is this gonna is this crystal gonna be in range? I think it is, right? Yeah, that's definite oh easily in range. I It's uh, it, it's like you, you figure out one thing and then it all pieces together and oh Man, oh, it is tough though. Like that one took a long time. I've got two more levels. This one and then that is the final one. I can do this. So, three robots. Back to three robots. Uh, One crystal that you can pick up. I'm guessing the green one is going to need to pick this up at some point. Maybe first. Okay. So this is all about staggering robots. And I'm thinking the trick to this one is having robots walk into the crystal. So it blocks their movement. What I'm really curious about though is if something walks into the crystal from that block, will that stop it? So I want to test that. So I'm going to turn right, uh, walk, turn left, and then try to walk twice. I think it's just going to stay on this block, but I guess we'll find out. Oh, I'm starting with the green one, not the blue one. I see. For some reason, I thought I always started on the blue. I'm I'm dumb. I'm stupid. Okay. So I, so I'm the green one by default. That's fine. Means I need to 
walk, pick up, walk. Probably drop, pick up, we'll see soon. So they're in range, they... They start from the beginning of the code as well. Oh, this is confusing. It doesn't seem too hard though, right? This actually seems super simple, like very, very simple. Like, I'm, I'm sure this is incredibly simple. Maybe. Oh, please be simple. So if I walk one more time, turn right, turn right, walk twice, uh, and turn right and walk again. So I'll just loop that, may as well. Isn't that going to be it? Ah, he. Okay, I need a a a, a put down. That that's. I didn't mean to. Re okay, that's okay. I remember. I think so. Walk, uh, pick up, walk, and then drop, and then walk again, and then pick up, and then walk again, and then turn right, and then walk again, and then walk again. Nope, not turn left. Walk again. Uh, turn right, and then walk. I think. I think that's it. Please? Why, 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 why did that happen? Oh! Okay, one of them got there. So what happened then? So, walk, pick up. Uh, walk, drop. So, walk, pick up, walk, drop. I think I need to do another... Put another walk in before the pickup, and I think that that might be it, maybe. Walk again, walk again, and then, yeah, okay. Wasn't too hard. It was just a timing issue. That's all it was. I see, I, I see, yeah, I get it now. I get it. Final level! Wow! And there's only two robots. Maybe this one, maybe, won't be as hard. I mean, the last one, to be fair, level 22 was the hardest one, and that only had two robots. Um, it just took a while to figure out the trick going forward and left and looping that. Yeah, that's all it was. But what is this? Uh, okay, so there's a teleporter. There's two places I need to end up. Um, that teleporter's really in the way, isn't it? Wow, okay. Okay, okay, okay. So obviously, I, I mean, I need to start with a pickup and a walk. May as well get the pink one in, in range. Uh, is that going to be in range? I don't think it will, actually. Maybe I need to walk forward twice. Is that going to be in range? I need to walk forward twice. So walk again. And then I guess we may as well just turn right and walk twice. Actually, no, because it starts from the beginning, doesn't it? Oh, it's going to be confusing. I don't know why that keep hap keeps happening. I think I clicked that. It's fine. So yeah, that's gonna teleport to there. Then I need to turn right. Walk, walk, turn right, drop, walk, turn right. Wait, no, it's out of range, of course it is. Oh. Uh <laughs> it's out of range. Oh no. So if I turn right, walk, walk, it'll be in range. Then it needs to walk, turn left, walk, walk. Yeah, <laughs> maybe. So walk, wait, no, what? I, I've forgotten. Where, where, where did I end up? Where did I end up? There, so it's turn right and then walk, walk. Okay. I'm thinking I need to loop at some point. Turn right, walk. I've forgotten again. Speed up real quick. So, turn right. Turn right again. Yeah? Yes. So, turn right one more time. Then, walk, walk. This is confusing, I know. Turn right, walk again. And I'm running out of code. Of course I am. That's not okay. That sucks, actually. It's in range, so I need to walk again, turn left, then a repeat a walk. That easy? The problem is I've run out of code. So, walk again, turn left, and then two more walks 
right there would have won me the, the map. So that sucks. I need to probably take some walks out or something and like loop it at some point, I'm sure. So if I take like this turn right out or something, I don't know, and just loop that, I... We'll see. We'll see what happens. Probably not a victory. I'm positive not a victory. What is going to happen though? It's going to keep looping is the thing. Like, just loop and loop and loop until something happens. But what is that something going to be? Because they're constantly going to be out of sync and they're constantly going to be moving to random places. Maybe through another teleporter. Or is it stuck like this now? It might... I might have somehow got it stuck like this. Oh, oh, yep, yeah, no, it is just stuck like this. Okay. I clearly need to think about this a lot more. A lot more than just using code. I need to think about loops. I might have got it. But I might not because I don't have much space left. If I can fit a loop in here, I might have got it. Because from here, I need them to walk. Walk. Like I'll be there. This pink one will be here. Turn around. Like I turn around and walk again. The pink one will be out of range, so he's not going to turn around and walk. The blue one will walk to there. Please let me fit in this round. So above the turn around... No, the, above the walk, walk. Turn around, walk. No, oh, I need one more line of code. Because this repeat counts as two. Like there, it would fit on its own. But because it's two lines, it doesn't fit. Can I take one line out somewhere? Maybe take a walk out? No, I can't. Unless I can. Turn left. No, because it needs to walk there. It needs to... So, okay. I need to... Before this... Before the very end, I need to loop something. Pick up. Walk, walk. It's there. Turns right. Now they're both turning right. They're both facing this way. Uh, walk, walk. Uh, that teleports to there, that one stuck there. But then it's just controlling this one. Uh... Maybe I can get it to come here. So if I instead take out the turn around, I instead make that turn right. Get rid of all those. Turn right and then walk again. Turn right, walk. Turn right again. Walk. Walk. So now it's there. The pink one will be in range. So that's gonna... Wait, if I can get a turn right and two walks in, maybe... Hold on. I, I'm... This might be it. Uh... Turn right, walk, turn right, walk, walk to there. The pink is in range at this point. So we need to turn right again. Walk twice. But the problem is that's going to bring the crystal out of range. So we need to turn right, drop, walk, walk, pick up, walk. So... <laughs> what? Yeah, this isn't working. I... I... I, I just don't have enough lines of code. I I, I don't know. Um, I, I need to... It feels like I need to loop really early. So we need to make like five lines of code and then loop that somehow. So it's... I don't know, some way it has... Uh, I, I, I really don't know. Pick up, walk, walk, turn right. Um, or maybe turn around or something. That has something to do with that right there. Possibly. That could be it. I don't know. I... Uh... I see. Yeah, this is... Uh... Really easy, actually. Uh... Okay, so... Hmm. I see what I've done. Uh, so, okay. Hmm. Let's slowly walk through this. So, it picks up the thing, it walks, it walks twice, then it turns right. And then I thought, you know, you... You can walk twice again, turn right, so this guy's facing that way, that one's facing this way, it's over there, and then you walk twice again, you turn right, you can walk twice again, and then that's where you just saw it, and then that's in range. 
and this one needs to turn right, and that one needs to turn right, and it needs to walk twice. So I was doing that, I wasn't realizing I was, um, you know, repeating it, but I think what you just need to do is pick up, walk, walk, turn right, loop that. I think that's the, the final level. I think that's all it is. Six pieces of code. Which kind of honestly makes sense because it's like, oh, the power of, you know, loops and code. That's what this is all about, right? And here we are. The vault beyond the world border. The place where we store all of the secrete weapons of Solar Tech Corporation. Of the easiest levels. Wait, what's happening? What's happening? The world border isn't supposed to be moving. It's expanding. We lost control of the robot. Someone infiltrated the vault? Impossible. Expanded the border. What is this law thing? That wasn't a robot that whole time, so he could have just moved freely, so I didn't need to code it and figure that out. What? Who was that? He... It looked like... Was it the blue man, but with like a scar? Or I... What, I can't remember what it looked like. Um... To be continued. I guess we're getting more of Beyond the Border. I mean, I... You know, it's a great map. I'm happy about that. I'm happy about more of Beyond the Border, but... Oh, that's cool. It's the same on both sides. Um, I'm not happy about having to figure out more... <laughs> More puzzles like that because it takes a lot. It yeah, it's it's difficult, very difficult, very very good though. Man, what a map! Ah, oh. that it, it takes you it takes me out of it every time though. It just takes all my energy away, all my brain power, and then I'm left not being able to do two plus two at the end of the day. And my hot bar, carrot on a stick. What a map that was. Um. If you want to play this for yourself, I guess now you know all the answers, but if you do want to play it for yourself, it'll be linked in the description. This this was an experience. Really, really good. Very... I don't get how people code these, um... How people think of these puzzles and make... Like, how do you think of the code that you need and then make it a puzzle? Oh. Anyway, that is beyond the border. I somehow managed to do it. Um... And yeah, that is going to be it. So, if you liked, be sure to like. <laughs> if you really liked or more like this, be sure, to, be sure to subscribe. And I will see you in the next video. Thanks so much for watching, and see ya!